So I would argue that there is, there is a difference between racism and prejudice. I think all human beings have the capacity to prejudge in a negative way another group of people. Um, it doesn't matter if you're black, if you're Asian, between different groups. We know that, you know, blacks, um, black Africans and black Caribbeans um, are prejudiced towards each other at times. Different. So we know that um, hating somebody or judging someone based on external, if you like, characteristics or mm. religion, that's prejudice. And everybody's capable of that. Racism. And this is why I think when we keep talking about people being racist, I think it's an inc in, often incorrect, is racism is a construct, and it's a construct rooted in power. Exactly. And so when, and I, I, I dug this book out, because it's a great book, <laughs> Staying Power by Peter Fryer. It was yeah. from my mum's wardrobe, uh, wardrobe library. <laughs> yeah. um, and he's a Yorkshireman, mm -hmm. but he, he really sort of breaks this down, in, I think, in a simple way. Yeah. When... You, prejudice existed before the slave trade. We know, for example, that there, there were Britain's black, black Africans in this country mm. in the 1500s. Mm. We know that people had prejudgments about certain groups of people long before the slave trade existed. Mm. But when, and I'm, I just want to read this because it mm. really is, a, he does it so well. So he mm. says, he's talking about the slave trade and how Britain became the leading slave trading nation in the world. And it, it said, it was their drive, speaking of the English, mm. for profit that led English merchant capitalists to traffic in Africans. There was big money in it. Yeah. The theory, i.e. the racist theory came yeah. later, to underpin this way of gaining capital through treating Africans as property, as slave labor, was about money and it was about power mm. to underpin it. It was um, underpinned by the theory of racism that black people were inferior mm. to, which I guess is a bit mm. of the... Um, a bit of the Oxford Dictionary definition, mm. this idea that whites were superior to blacks. Mm. So I, per my assertion is that when we talk about reverse racism, there isn't such a thing. I don't think um, blacks can be racist towards whites. I think black people can be prejudiced and hate white people. I think that's a, a, a factual, we know that that's factually accurate. To say they're racist, if I'm, we're using this definition of structure, a construct mm. to assert power mm. you, through racial lines, I don't think it's true. Mm.